بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد. It was narrated in the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in this hadith that was narrated by Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه In reference to the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين May Allah be pleased with them all the Prophet ﷺ said, The best of the people. Khayr al nas The best. That means when we refer to best, of course this is what? It's not, it's a superlative. Best is a superlative. Comparatives, for example, would be better. If we said so-and-so is better than so-and-so. That means in Arabic, ism tafdil. That means there's, there's one in compared to another, this one is preferred. Better than. That's a comparative. The Prophet ﷺ said, Khayr nas He said the best. So the best, we're using a superlative. The Prophet ﷺ used a superlative. Khayr nas qarni. The best people is my generation. Thumma ladini yununuhum. Then those who follow them. Thumma ladini yununuhum. And then those who follow them. And this was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ makes clear for us that his companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, were the best. That was the best of generations. So for us, brothers and sisters, it's first to realize and reflect on that tafdila, that that that, that fadila that the Prophet ﷺ gave to the Sahaba, رضي الله تعالى عنهم. And in fact, Allah subhanahu wa taala is the one who gave them by blessing them with companionship to be companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may Allah be pleased with them all رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين this gives us the uh, very important direction and it affirms for us our creed that the Sahaba are the best the best of generations after the Prophets and Messengers alayhim after the Salatu wasalam then we have their companions, and meaning the companions of the Prophet ﷺ being the first and foremost, the best. And what makes this clear for us is when the Prophet ﷺ said, al He said they're the best. They're the best of the people. And that was the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. So, then that begs the question, those people who consider themselves Muslims, who call themselves Muslims, who have names like Muhammad, Fatima, Ali, Khalid, whatever their name is. But yet they curse the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You have to call into question their Islam. You absolutely have to. Why? Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, He said that the best of the people, the best of the people is my generation. Who was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's generation? It was his companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم. Those are the people beloved to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Ahl Bayt, and 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 the companions, radiyallahu taalaanu majmaeen, the family of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the believers. Those are the best, the best in his generation, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then those that follow them, meaning the tabi'een, you know, those people who met the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and studied at their feet and benefited from them about you know and asked them about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do how did he live Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam these people these are the tabi'in those are the people who met the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as believers and died as believers may Allah be pleased with him and raise them all up and so this brings us back to the very important point that as a very that as a part of the foundation of the religion of Islam is that we love the people who help preserve the religion and who carry the religion and who are the, the best of the scholars first and foremost and the jama'ah the main body of the Muslims and 
who form up the core of Ahlul Sunnah, the foundation of Ahlul Sunnah, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They carried the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to us. How else do we know the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam except from the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Rabbi Allah taala majmaein. May Allah be pleased with them all. That's how we know it. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to guide those people who speak ill of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and make it a part of their creed to speak ill of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Ahlul Sunnah and bless Ahlul Sunnah wherever they may be. And may Allah bless us to be from amongst Ahlul Sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and help us to go forward spreading his beautiful deen. Because in fact, this religion, what is there after this religion? There's nothing. Any of us can die at any time. But did you die spreading Tawheed and holding on to Tawheed, the worship of Allah alone, praying your five daily prayers, believing in what, the, what Allah told you to believe in? Believing what the Prophet ﷺ told you to believe in and practicing that? Is that how you died? Or did you die chasing this worldly life? Chasing something you couldn't even catch. You couldn't even get the wealth. You strove for it. You didn't get it. You got some. You weren't happy. Is that how you want to die? Or do you want to die and be raised up with the Prophets? Alayhim after al salatu wa salam. Go to the highest level of paradise. And be with the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ask yourself that. Ask yourself what kind of life you want to live, and come to Allah subhanahu wa taala. And may Allah forgive us of our sins. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.